shop you guys got here. Could you just tell us about what your guys' vision was when you opened the shop? We actually started like so many others uh, back in COVID. Okay. Uh, so I, my background is marketing. I sold a company and um, found myself with a whole lot of time. Serendipitously, my parents were clearing out all this stuff from their house. <laughs> found all your cards. Went down a wormhole way <laughs> too deep. Uh, and here we are, but now so we've been selling sealed wax online since 2020. The local element and yep. you know, the community, you, you can't get that. Sure, yeah. online is convenient, but yep. there's just always something missing. And it's like, let's take the plunge, let's do it. But if we're gonna do it, we gotta go big. Right. We gotta do it right. Who I like that. It's like, man, if, if we're gonna be here every single day, too many people in the world dread going to work right. or hate their office, exactly. whatever it is. So, teamed up with a bunch of incredible people that, that really helped turn the, the dream into a reality. Um, and here we are. If you build it, they, they will come. come. Many uh, giant yeah. sports cars feel the dreams. Did you guys play a game of wiffle ball before everything was moved in? Man, great question. So the chandelier had already been That was on. already there. And I was like, oh darn, man, it's like, darn, that's, darn. that's right in the yeah. perfect launch angle. Talk us through the, the vision of how you wanted to display stuff in here. I mean, you got unbelievable display for the jerseys and all your wax, so. We're 3,000 square feet, which is larger yeah. than the normal shop but we still wanted to take advantage of every square foot of it. Yes, right in here we, we got all our uh, custom displays, all, okay. all of our uh, hobby wax just broken out by sport. And then- So what uh, we got here, drawers in between each one? That's right, yes, there's something unique. Uh, I certainly haven't seen at a shop, but yeah. Yeah, there's too many card shops are just clutter everywhere, right. so there's something a little different. And oh, these are all individuals, got, got all huh? these, yeah, so stuff, uh, anywhere from three, three for a dollar cards, uh, okay. and uh, as you go up, then they're uh, that was cool. higher and higher, um, and they're all tied into where the wax is. So yeah, so this basketball, is basketball here, then them. football wax, and football singles, that was cool. um, and they're also built out uh, perfect size. They can hold slabs as well. Oh sweet, so you get a blend. Um, so this, so. Is, I guess, everything you said was custom. We weren't joking. I see all the cards on the floor here. The uh, the idea behind this were. Random cards or all selected cards? Yeah, all selected. Okay. Yeah, so the hobby's all about nostalgia. This is largely you know collection of my favorite cards, favorite players from when I grew up, and right mix on. in uh, mix in some of the, uh, yeah, the newer see, blood as well. See my rookie card right here. There he that is. Was really cool. There he is. And you got the heritage rookie with Dozier too back there. Bam! The yeah, one, one two. How about so. that. Well, that's our team. We brought home the ship. Uh, Last fall, so we got the Topps custom card made. That um, was awesome. So like when all the kids on the team come in and uh, I show them that, they lose yeah, their mind. That like, is what? cool. That is yeah, so it's cool. great, man. We've got an arcade for the kids, uh, giving out free cards for them. So the way that we've structured it is you got about three for a dollar on some of those sleeve cards and then it goes up to maybe like $20 okay. on the drawers. Anything over 20 is gonna be in our slab wall. 35 foot, we have PSA, One Touch, Beckett, and then back to PSA. Okay. So that's gonna be anywhere from like 20 to 140. Okay. And then people that wanna go over 140, we have these display cases. Come in the cases. We wanna to appeal to the person that's gonna come in here and spend $5, and the same person that's gonna come in here and spend 14,000 on this. Babe Ruth. Uh, Babe Ruth, this is our holy grail right now. Mickey Mantle, Ty Cobbs some of the legends, and then we have also the prospects. Yeah. We appeal to our immediate audience with the Atlanta people, but always cycling through new material. We don't want stuff staying, yeah. sitting for too long. Right. Let's see this VIP room you guys have here. All right, then come in here, relax. As you can see over here in the corner, we got complimentary drinks. Right. We have complimentary food. We have all the supplies, needs you can, right you can want. These are all complimentary on the house and a place kind of come, put on a game, sit here with buddies, rip. Just eat your Cheetos after you open the car. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. the number one rule. Yeah. Yeah. Do not get Cheetos on no, the prep no. run. No, no. We had a kid last week say that uh, he would rather go here than Disney World. No, I love so that. that was, I love uh, that. That was the quote of the weekend. Everything we wanted to do was custom, outside of the box, something where it was almost like a card shop in 50 years. Right. Rather yeah, than going yeah. back 50, let's go forward 50 and still have 
the love of the game, though. That's still our heart. Jetson's card shop, right? Right. There it is.